before we publish our document, some of the other things we need to do is make sure that we don't have any errors in our file. Now at the very bottom of InDesign, it tells me here that I don't currently have any errors and the warning for pre-flight, as it's called, is set to green. However, InDesign by default doesn't check for all the things that you should really be keeping an eye on, such as the quality of your images. So we need to create our own pre-flight profile. I'll go down to the bottom and click on the arrow and then choose to open up the pre-flight panel. There are only two types of pre-flight checklists inside of InDesign. One is basic and the other is for digital publishing. So I'm going to stick with basic working. And then I'm going to go up to the top right hand side to the panel flight menu and choose define profiles. If I stick with basic, what that will do is by default under links, it will check if I have any links to missing or modified images and any inaccessible URLs. Under text, it will check to see if this document contains any overset text, so text that can't fit inside of the current text frame or missing fonts. They're all good things to have, so I'm going to collapse all of those, go down to the bottom and then click on the plus. This will generate a new profile. I'm going to call this ProPrint. And then I'm going to go to the section under color. I'm going to make sure that InDesign checks for registration applied. So registration is a swatch that you can find inside of InDesign. It looks like black, but it's only really intended for printers marks. It does not want to be applied to any of the artwork in your document such as text. So wherever that's applied by accident, most likely we'll make sure that that is flagged up as a problem. Also make sure that we turn on overprint applied to white or paper color. If that's the case, then those elements will become invisible in your layout. It's rare that that would happen, but it's worth checking for it. I'll collapse the color section and then go down to images and objects. I'm going to expand open image resolution. I'm going to turn on the checkbox just for that portion. And then it's going to make sure that all of the images that have been placed into InDesign for this document, that they have a minimum resolution. Now we need to set that to 300 for professional print. You can do the same for grayscale based images, but it's highly likely that most, if not all of your images will be color. I'm going to scroll down the list in here and then turn on a checkbox for non-proportional scaling of placed objects. So if you have scale content in your document, but you've stretched the width and not the height or vice versa, it will detect that as a problem. I'll collapse image resolution and then going down the list, I'll go to minimum stroke weight, turn that on, and I'm going to set that to 0.25 points. Essentially, if you have very thin lines in your designs and they are below this thickness, that runs the risk of disappearing when printed. So. I'll collapse all of those. And with that done, I'll click on save and then I'll click OK. It doesn't make that the active profile. It's only saved it. So we have to go to the profile menu, click on the drop down, and then choose the one that we've just made called Pro Print. It will check our document. Now it tells me that I have one error. Under images and objects, if I click on the triangle next to this, it tells me that one of them is image resolution. I'll click on the triangle next to that and click. And it tells me that I've got an image called Esquire B. It's a JPEG file and it's on page 63. Now, if I click on that, it takes me to that page and it selects that image as well. Now, if I want to know specifically what the issue is, well, I can go down to the bottom and click on info and expand it. And in here, it tells me that the color, color image must be at least 300 PPI pixels per inch. Its effective resolution is only 261. So in this scenario, the first thing to do is to go up to the options at the top and choose to fill frame proportionally, possibly to scale that down in size. If that doesn't work, then you'll have to source a different image or you'll have to reduce the size of the image in your layout. In my case here, I'd really need to try and source a better quality version of that image or swap it for a new one. Once it is resolved, then it will disappear. And then at the bottom in here, it'll tell us that we have zero errors. So that's the process you go through for checking that your document is fit for purpose before you publish it.